Not really. I... Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of the thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. So what she's doing is making herself a target. What Marjorie Taylor Greene knew was that these asshats would hate her just because she's supporting Trump more than they would care about who Lakin Riley is. And she exposed how depraved, how out of touch, how um, heartless and cold these people are. Rush Limbaugh, before he passed, went on with The Breakfast Club and said, damn, with George Floyd passing, I want to reach out to y'all. I'm sorry. Look at that. The, the racist one, the the, un, the intolerant one, Rush Limbaugh goes on with the Breakfast Club, and they and they 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 have no respect for him really. On that, they had a little bit, but not the respect that they need to give the legend, the living legend at the time, uh, Rush Limbaugh. What up, everybody? It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. The inhumane treatment and senseless murder of George Floyd has to be the final straw. Can, can I tell you why I wanted to the, the George Floyd story is being lost, right? There are two things happening in America and, and it's, it, it sickens me what happened to him. And I don't want to forget about George Floyd. What, what happened to George Floyd sickened me. And I wanted to reach out and tell you all this, the senselessness of it. You, you know, we're only given one life. We don't get a do over. We only get one way. And I think most Americans are just as angry and sad about this as I am. And I'm also angry at the cops that stood around there and didn't do anything to stop it. No, no. They were like going at them because they felt like they were the black imans. They had to go at them. Um, Rush Limbaugh, I played the clip many times on here. Rush Limbaugh went on with them and said, I'm feeling for you. If you feel, I'm just paraphrasing, if you feel this is a huge thing, uh, you're American, I'm with you. Look at that, look at that. That Now looking back at that, that's toxic tolerance. You're feeling sorry for what, a criminal? They don't feel that way about you. Middle MAGA. You look at the State of the Union address and the days of decorum are over. You have the president, to my knowledge, I don't remember it being like this, where the president takes the State of the Union and turns it into a stump speech running for president speech. Now my predecessor, a former Republican president, tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want. That's a quote. Maybe that's how it always was. I don't remember. But in our atmosphere right now, our political atmosphere, and that started under Trump. Trump would speak, and then you would see the ALCs and the, the other. They're, they're culture jammers. They're just not as good as MTG. And we're going to get to MGG here in a second. But that the age of culture jamming rose up where you yelled at the president during that time. It happened after uh, with Obama, actually, too. But that was just one time. Now it's normal. The reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. When you look at it, there was some very effective culture jamming done by MTG. I think MTG won the night. I keep on falling in and out of political love with Marjorie Taylor Greene, and I don't know what to do. She's like that. She's like that girl that you. She may be that bad girl or something like that that you're like, man, she is not good for me. But then you keep going back. This is excellent. This is culture jamming at the most expert level possible. Okay, there it is, right there. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is the one holding the phone, and if you look at it, so Marjorie Taylor Greene came dressed in remember i don't know if it was last year or two years ago she wore the fur contact my office i'll give you a copy i'll give you a copy of the proposal that means congress doesn't vote well i'm glad that's not the atmosphere we need right now that i'm so glad she didn't do this she's like no i'm not going with the fur that looks too out of, it looks out of touch it's gaudy it's either the fur is expensive and then you're out of touch or it's cheap and you're gaudy and out of touch. So that's not good. 
She didn't go with the fur. She rocked the 45, I think, hat. She rocked the Trump gear. But then, really smart. Man, what Marjorie Taylor Greene did here was so smart. Oh, my goodness. Before I even continue with that, I'm going to get back to that clip. I want to go to this first. She wore this on purpose. She set them up. So she's wearing Make America Great Again hat and red blazer. So she's overtly MAGA, overtly pro-Trump during the State of the Union, like, a, like she's at a rally. But notice what she did. She wrote, she has a, pi a pin picture of Lake and Riley. Lake and, I, have, I have a whole playlist on Lake and Riley on the channel. Lake and Riley was unlived by Jose Ibarra, an illegal immigrant from Venezuela that had had encounters with law enforcement before. It was a tragic death. And there's many tragic deaths, but for whatever reason, this one rose to prominence. Like George Floyd or Breonna Taylor, you pick a name. And But this is legit. Those aren't to me. You can have your opinion either way. So she writes, she has a shirt that says, say her name. And then it's Lakin Riley at the bottom. And she's wearing a Lakin, I think it's that's Lakin Riley on the pin on her blazer. So what she's doing is making herself a target. What Marjorie Taylor Greene knew was that these asshats would hate her just because she's supporting Trump more than they would care about who Lakin Riley is. And she exposed how depraved, how out of touch, how um, heartless and cold these people are. And this tweet right here is from The Daily Show. I did a video on my other channel where I said Jon Stewart was on The Daily Show crying about his three-legged dog dying. Uh, they brought out this one-ish year old Brindle Pitbull uh, who... Hit, hit, hit my car in Brooklyn. And I said, I don't care. I don't give a damn. Not even a millimeter, not even an ounce, not even a little bit. Zero, nada, zilch. I don't care about you and your damn three-legged dog that died. Why? Because you're my political enemy. You couldn't care less if I had gone to protest for J6 and got hemmed up on ridiculous unconstitutional charges and had to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on the lawyer and still went to prison for five years or two years or whatever it is, probation, you wouldn't have given a damn about my ass. Why would I care about you and your damn dog limping around and hopping around on three legs? I don't care. I don't wish anything bad to happen to you. I don't. That's my line. I, when I say I don't care, I'm just apathetic. And then people... People can have whatever feedback they have, but people are like, whoa, whoa, you're heartless and all this other stuff. I'm like, okay, okay, your terms are acceptable. So this post here by The Daily Show says, when you're a waitress at K.K.K .K .K Fridays, Triple K Fridays. So The Daily Show, they haven't talked about Lake and Riley. I watched every single show. I haven't seen that. Well, at least the Jon Stewart shows. I haven't seen them talk about it. I haven't seen Jon Stewart talk about that. So they look past Lake and Riley to get a KKK blast in. And you, and you, and you, see the same people mad about me, or not mad, but think I'm heartless because I don't give a damn about his three legged dog limping all over the place, are the same people who look past Lake and Riley, a human, a citizen, law abiding. God-fearing, unlived, why don't they care? Because it's not within their political narrative. Rush Limbaugh, before he passed, went on with The Breakfast Club and said, damn, with George Floyd passing, I want to reach out to y'all, I'm sorry. Look at that, the, the racist one, the, the, un, the intolerant one. Rush Limbaugh goes on with The Breakfast Club and they, and they, they, they have no respect for him, really on that they had a little bit but not the respect that they need to give the legend the living legend at the time uh rush limbaugh no no they were like going at them because they felt like they were the black imans they had to go at them um, rush limbaugh i played the clip many times on here rush limbaugh went on with them and said i'm feeling for you if you feel i'm just paraphrasing if you feel this is a huge thing uh you're american i'm with you look at that look at that that now looking back at that that's toxic tolerance you're feeling sorry for what a criminal 
they don't feel that way about you. And Marjorie Taylor Greene exposed it right there. They don't, the Daily Show knows who Lincoln Riley is. Some of the other people didn't. And one of those people was a dumb, I was going to call him Joe but Button. <laughs> it's late, man. I'm trying to drink coffee to be, I probably sound like Joe Biden. Joe Biden was one of them. Let's go back to Joe Biden. Marjorie Taylor Greene set that nigga up. One of her best culture, just on another level. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is the one holding the camera and she's waiting for Biden. Because look what she did. Because Biden looks like a bitch if he ignores her. I was watching this closely. I was doing dishes. I was like, what's going on? Uh oh And my wife's like, why are you so much into it? I'm like, I didn't feel like, it's like watching an episode of a TV show. I'm like, I can't catch you up. Just go, just let me do my thing. So I'm watching it. I'm intense, man. I'm like, this is, Marjorie Taylor Greene's right in front of him. If he ignores her, he looks completely bitch-like. And if he doesn't, then he has to acknowledge Lake and Riley. Look at what Marjorie Taylor Greene made him do. And you notice Marjorie Taylor Greene wasn't doing her yelling or nothing. She was just waiting there and she was holding the pin out. And Joe Biden, he what was he gonna do? Was he gonna ignore the Lake and Riley pin or pick up the Lake and Riley pin? I know how to say the name. Lake and Riley. <laughs> no, he doesn't know how to say the name. Because it came up later when they got shot it down. So that was how it got set up. She gave him the pin and did he shake her hand? I don't remember that. Yeah, I guess he did. I didn't no, that's not her. That's a blacky mom. <laughs> like, that's not uh, like I don't remember him shaking her hand because I saw it from a different angle. That's from her cell phone angle. Is that one? So now we go to what happened with um, getting shot it down. So that's that's how the night started when he walked out, and then here's MTG following up the culture jamming of the speech. Now maybe it won't reach through people but i've already seen the ap do an article on it basically doing saying everything i'm saying right now i'd be a winner not really i so marjorie taylor green yelled it said i think she said something like what about lake and riley i'd be a winner not really i You see what she did? She said, what about Lake and Riley? This is the University of Georgia student that got unlived and they're booing. Wow. And they all know who she is. These are, I mean, maybe some of them actually probably don't know, but I, 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 we know some of them do know. I mean, if they don't know, then that's telling too. They're booing someone shouting out Lake and Riley's name. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley. Who? Who are you talking about? Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed. Who's Lincoln Riley? Lincoln, Lincoln Riley. He didn't know who she was at all. He had no idea who she was. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley. An innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you having lost children myself. I understand. But look, I'd be a winner. Marjorie Taylor Greene got him to call him an illegal. Remember, they switched that to newcomer now. An innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. Wow. Uh, that wasn't on the speech. 
That's right. But how many of I don't think it was. Thousands of people being killed by legals. So I don't know parents, what that meant. I say, my heart goes out to you having lost children. My what did he say? Did you hear what she got him to say? He was like, how many people have been killed by illegals? Wow. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? Is he trying to say that it's not many? That didn't come out right. Marjorie Taylor Greene forced him into off the teleprompter, and everybody in Joe Biden's camp is like, get back on that teleprompter immediately. Thousands of people being killed by illegals. To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look. He always has to go back to Bo. Anytime somebody has a, a, remember he went to Hawaii and he brought up Bo, anytime, and sometimes, and I understand, and I'm, I, I am sorry for his loss of Bo. Bo was the one that was supposed to be president. The Bo was the good, good, good one. I got two sons. I, I don't want that to happen to anybody. But it's not always appropriate to bring up Bo. As soon as somebody says they lost somebody, he brings up Bo, and it's not always appropriate. M MTG won the night. Period. Great work by her there. How many thousands of people? What did he mean, Mike has bad knees? What did he? I don't even know what he meant. I think he was trying to say. I don't even know what he was trying to say. I think he was trying to say out of all the, it was not a good position to be in because either he was saying out of all the millions of illegals that we've let in, only so many people have been unlived by them. Or he was saying, I couldn't have imagined him saying that there's a lot of other illegals unliving other people. She's not the only one. Either one is done. Yeah, she's MTG. That's chess. You move your knight and you've got, you put your opponent in a position where there are no good moves. Just excellent. He was trying to be sarcastic. Man, he needs to stop being. Yeah, Kamala just blinked a lot. Yeah, that's where you you internally there's a lot going on and you just kind of, it comes out somewhere. And she's not a great liar. To be honest with you, she's not really a great liar. So it comes out somewhere else. Middle MAGA.